I come in here in just a second. There we go. Woo! Shout out to my boy QT Dub. Got my orange hydro flask because that's how they sponsor me. Hey! Yo, I gotta have the oranges for my throat when I'm talking forever. You feel me, duh? Yeah, I love the oranges. Love the oranges. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the heat. Here we go. Woo! Guys, we are live for another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I brought the Bronco sweater out today. I brought the Bronco sweater because we did not make the playoffs. We did not make the playoffs, baby. Woo! ArielENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We have an amazing guest all the way. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to tell. I'm going to let him tell you guys. Tune in. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Let's go. Well, hey, brother. My English accent is going to scare people. We're going to say, what's going on? What's going on? I'm really excited to be here and have this conversation. We've been planning this for so long. It seems like forever. So your listeners by now are thinking, who is that crazy English guy on the mic? So my name is Simon. Let's let's get into this, Ariel. Oh, my goodness, guys. We just going to strike, jump into it, guys, just like that. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Ariel. No further ado. That is our amazing guest today, our boy, Simon. He has a podcast show host, too. He hosts a podcast. Simon, what city you in? Where you at? Yeah, so I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but I should address that I'm originally from a town close to London called Reading. So I've been in America for around 10 years. And as you said, I'm the host of the Who I Became podcast. So yeah, really excited as to what you're going to ask me today. I love love your energy and I love listening to your, to your show. So I hope I can keep up with you, brother. Oh, uh, bro, you already keeping up. You, you're keeping it up because you got that accent, bro. Everybody's loving the accent right now. All the, all the millions of listeners right now listening are digging the accent. So before we get into our guest, Simon, and what he do, you know what I got to do, everybody, you guys already know, let's do it. We got to do the self promo because that's what pays the bills. So here we go. Best way to support me is by going to arielent.com. There's my merch, guys. It's selling out probably by the end of this month. Arielent.com t-shirts are selling out. Guys, while you're there, arielent.com, I got my music. All the month of December and November, I was promoting my Happy Holidays album. Boom. Check me out, guys. Holler at your boy. Big projects are coming up. I got two big projects going on right now at the beginning of 2022. I ain't say nothing besides their big projects right now. All right. We got the photography. Hit me up. Professional photographer. I got a concert on the 29th of this month. I'm going to be going doing behind the scenes uh, for a huge artist. So looking for that, guys. All right. got the podcast, arielent.com, Ariel's Entertainment. Dot com guys Ariel's Entertainment Podcast let's go thank you so much another great way to support me is by going to my YouTube channel yeah we hit 263 subscribers today we hit 263 subscribers today guys a shout out to everybody listening all my best friends to all the supporters and all the millions and millions of people tuning in right now Woo! Guys, we dropped three podcasts on Sunday. One has 31 views already. One has 20 views. One has 17 views. They're popping. We dropped one four days ago. It already hit 1K views. I don't know how that happened. Seven days ago, we hit one at 8.8K views. I don't know how that happened. And then as you'll see, uh, it's, it's the artists. I love bringing our, other artists and collaborating because they go hard in the paint and they just go do big numbers, guys. So go check out my, you can binge on my content for weeks. Duh, yeah. Arielent.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We're blowing up, guys. Grab the links, grab the links and share it with all your friends and family in your phone book your friends and family in your phone book. Thank you so much. Woo! All right. Uh, Another great way to support me is the donation links down below because I want to do this for the rest of my life. I'll probably be taking out, um, you know, NBC Tonight Show out of business. I'll be taking out ABC Night News out of business. I'll be taking out CBS uh, Late Night Talk Show host out of business. I'm going to take over, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Let's get it going. 
I got the prayer of the day right here. All right. I'm coming with a lot of energy because this is the first year of 2022. I'm doing a podcast January 4th. I dropped three podcasts on the 1st of January. I'm doing it big, guys. And I cleaned my house. I did the laundry. I did. I cleaned everything before New Year's. They told me. I know this this person I look up to. They're like, yo, before 22 comes through, make sure you clean your house. You put a briefcase outside your door so you can travel the whole year 2022. And then um, clean all your laundry, clean your house, just clean everything so that when you start in 2022, you come with a fresh mind, no clutterness, yada, yada, yada. I did that. And I'm just like, I'm telling you, I swear I got a download. I got a download at 2021 between 2022. I got a download frequency and now I'm full of energy. So here we go. Um, here's the prayer of the day. I just want to say, Thank you, God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here. Ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. And I want to say thank you, God, for having Simon on the show. I want to say thank you, God, for um, all the millions and millions of listeners listening right now. And thank you, God, for our perfect health, uh, shelter, and all our dreams and wishes coming true and food, God. Thank you for everything. Keeping us super healthy, our perfect health. Amen. Glory to God. That's all. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. I, I love your energy. I love the excitement and I love your commitment to God. That's is incredible. Incredible. Thank you for having me on. Simon, thank you so much. You have no idea. This is a, like, this is an honor. And when I heard you uh, speak in clubhouse, I was like, yo, you got to get my boy on the show. Well, yeah. I mean, how many other black English guys do you know? Oh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota area? Come, on, come on, come on. Let's, let's throw it in in case anyone's listening, you know. I love it. Yeah, I love I, I'm, it. Like, I love I'm it. like a unicorn for your show, Ariel. That's Dude, why I'm a unicorn. I'm telling you. I told you. It's the voice. I told you that. Bro. Okay. All right. No further ado, guys. Let's bring our guest. His name's Simon. Like he said, he's the host of a podcast called Who I Became Podcast. I can't wait to talk about that. Bro, tell us about your podcast and what you do and where we can follow you. Yeah, so the Before We Came podcast was a an idea that I had for a couple of years, really. And it goes back to my police officer days in the UK, Whoa. believe it or not. In, yeah, in England, I was a detective. Whoa, okay. And um, I, I've seen so many crazy things in my life, but I've always worked out that people are trying to live the best life possible. And everyone is struggling with some type of adversity. And I've always been fascinated with people's journeys so the who i became podcast really talks to people about how they became who they became in life we often look at people's chapter 10 and and, and compare ourselves to a chapter 10 but we don't appreciate the journey the hard work the commitment it was that got them there so we talk about discoveries transformations life pivots with a view to sort of inspiring other people to say hey i can i can be like that i can i can learn through that person's life i can overcome that adversity i can achieve that goal um just by listening through the power of of stories so yeah that's a little bit about who i became and you know it grew into top two percent global um, podcast had some incredible, incredible guests on the show. So I'm, I'm loving doing it. I get to meet some incredible people yeah. like yourself, Ariel. Absolutely, dude. Hands down, dude. Thank you so much for the kind words, bro. That was a beautiful intro. Um, I was going to say, you met, like I was going to say, like you said, um, you've met incredible people when you're doing the show. I have to agree, agree with you. It's just something about like, people are just down to do a podcast. And, well, and, I t- and I tell you what, I can't say some of the guests, but it's now amazing how many people reach out to me and say, hey, I've, I want I was like a, a guy who's got like 70,000 followers on Instagram. And I went to my Instagram account and it sent me a voice message saying, uh, Simon, I've seen your show. I love what you do. I'd love to come on as a guest. I'm like, this guy's got like 60,000 followers on Instagram and he's coming to me I and know, saying, I know. Because, yeah. Everyone loves the platform. They love the platform to share their stories. It's, it's incredible. Everyone's got a story to tell. They really have. And just for them to take the time out of their day when they have over a hundred K followers or 
10k followers or anything just people that have time out of their day and just realized what your your craft is and appreciate yeah. it and they're like yo i want to come on your show it's just like oh my goodness that is super cool. yeah well it was a really cool dude if you go back to my my instagram the really cool yeah, dude oh, i think he's to. on there Let's do it. called um called carlton dennis let's see if you can pull him up and he's actually he's a tax strategist from scroll down a little bit see if he's on there um, uh, a bit more, a bit more. Oh, no, maybe his picture's not on there. He must be on the Who I Became one. Oh, no, very he is, very he is there. Colin Dennis, tax strategist from uh, Orange County. Really cool guy. He's got like 200,000 followers oh my on Instagram, similar on, on YouTube. But I still send him like voice notes and messages. Yeah. And you know what? This is a guy that I interviewed four, five, six months ago, he still returns my messages, you know, just that power of, of connection, the community. He doesn't have to, but, you know, he'll drop me a message back, a really cool, cool dude. And it just shows, you know, how the the guests can really try you can transform your guest life but they also transform me i mean i i get so much from talking to these people and it's it's an honor and a privilege for me when when i just stay connected with them i, I bet i bet it's like if i it's crazy because i um I did some podcasts, some amazing, like some pe people that you look like you're lo like for me, I, look, I, I looked up to. And it's like I uh, got somebody on the show, uh, sh uh, his boy, my boy, Jason Burmis. Uh, I looked up to him. He did. Um, he, he's a film documentary guy. Uh, I've been watching him for like 10, 11 years, man. And he came on my show last year. So I totally wow. I know that's just like I still to this day, I'm just like, are you kidding me? So yeah, I I'm, yeah. yeah, it's just an under like and he has over 60k people on his YouTube channel. And it's just wow, it's just like you took the time out of your day to be on my show. It's just it's a dream. Yeah. yeah. Well, well the thing is, if there's any, you know, people listening that either want to start a podcast or think about it, you know, everyone starts somewhere. I think my first episode had like 10 downloads and i'm pretty convinced Ariel, yeah. most most of those were like in my family, and family. And stuff, yeah you know <laughs> and, and, but but everyone has Dude. to start somewhere and you know you 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 meet people you you build connections you ask them if they know anyone you know you reach out and, and it's that thing about um you know i comment on people's posts not because i expect anything back in return just because it's a good thing to do you know you just build these relationships yeah. and, and and that's really how how you can grow is just you, you've got to start somewhere don't don't think wow. you're going to get a big person the hook and interestingly there's a massive youtuber uh, called Katie the Good Patriot that I interviewed um, last year and she yeah. you know, her videos get like a million views and all this stuff oh stuff. my She's goodness huge really really cool woman and then we finished finished the interview and i sort of said to her after i wish i'd left the record running ariel because i said i said katie i said can i just ask what why did you say yes to me you know i'm oh, like a, okay. i'm like yeah. i'm like a nobody you know i think one of her at the time one of her views um one of her videos had just short of a million views uh, and i said you know why why did you say yes to, to come on my show uh, and you know what she said? I wish I'd really, I wish I'd kept it recording. I stopped recording. She said, Simon, she said, you seem as successful, but you know, I was once like you, everyone started somewhere uh, and I want to help the next person up. And I was like, wow, wow. you know, the, the, hu the humility of someone to, um, you know, remember where they came from and help the next person. That's why she agreed to come on my, 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 my show. It's, it's incredible when you get to sort of chip away and, and learn the backstories behind those people. So that's why when people reach out to me, some high school kids have reached out to me and say, can you come on their show? I'll always say yes. The reason why I want to help that next person um, behind me. You know, I think someone once said, be nice to people on the way up. And they'll be nice to you on the way down, you know. So we're we're all going to fall from grace at some point in our lives, <laughs> dude. That's such a great point. That's well said. I'm taking that. I wrote that, I wrote that all down, man. So I appreciate that wisdom. Right, it's trademark. So you can pay me later. Yeah, dog. Hey, <laughs> so, <laughs> dude. Um, what was I going to say here? The the person that like how that girl said she wanted to help you out. Um, that's just like, um. Well, like, you know, it's, it's that pay it forward, um, yes. you know, it's that real pay it forward. I mean, you, you hear on the radio, I don't know when you, someone goes to McDonald's line and someone's paid for their food and then they do it for the person behind. Um, you know, you, you have to wonder, I, I don't want to get really deep and, and stuff about it. You've got to wonder if everyone could do that in some way 
pay it forward. You know, how, how different our life would be. I, I looked at Katie and thought, one, she's never going to come on my show. And then two, how incredible she was. And it really, it humbled me. It, it left yep. a, a lasting impression on me that she would say, Simon, I've got to do this for the person behind me because I was once like, I was once like you, you know. Some people in and around this type of industry generally forget where they've come from. But like I said, I started with um, 10 downloads before I now get thousands per episode, you know. It's not always been like that. Yo, you know what's cool? Is that not what I was getting? Was I gonna say is that you know she probably got hit up by like few people here and there, you know, try to get on, and then you were the one that was chosen. You know what I mean? Like she mm. saw something in you, and when I see that, when that happens to me, I'm like, I'm doing something right. I'm doing that. Just shows me that I'm doing something right, and uh, that's how. Well, I feel. When, well, here's a here's a thing as well that I'd say. So I mean, you you started off from prayer being a man of God. Here's a weird thing about it as well. I'm a great believer of. Uh, you know, putting out positive energy into the universe and it'll come oh, back. So, you know, if, if anyone listens to it, isn't a believer, oh, you know, no. it's a higher power, whatever it is. But there's a really cool dude up in Canada called Jeff Lopes, serial entrepreneur, successful podcast um, called Jeff Knows Inc. And, and I kid you not, this is a God's honest truth. I, I was sat in bed like any person does yep. these days, scrolling through my phone. I spent, spent a lot of time on Instagram thinking who would be a cool guest. I yep. saw Jeff's I saw Jeff's profile and I said to my wife, I said, this looks like a really good guy. I said, I wonder if he would come on my podcast. Yep. And I went to hit message in Instagram. And you know what was there, Ariel? Do you know Bye. what was there? He had sent me a message like two minutes before saying, I saw your show. Uh, love what it's about. Would you consider to me, me to be a guest? Wow. At the same time, but I looked at his profile and it's like, again, it's that positive energy that you put off. Um, comes back into you. I mean, that oh was that, that was a higher power connecting it. And Jeff is another good guy who's become a friend and a mentor as well. So yeah, wow, that's what I like to think, and just to be grateful because I feel the more I'm grateful and I feel it and I love it. I love doing this. Um, man, so many things come yeah. here. Well, and, is, uh, yeah, and one of my one of my battles has always been comparison. I mean, I was raised in a single parent family, humble upbringings, you know, my, my mum didn't have any money to really um, uh, to give me too many material things. We had the love and attention all, and all that type of stuff, you know, but you you see the wealth for for material, you know, you see it for possessions. And that's how that's how people deem success is by how much stuff that you've got. Um, but but it's really in the, the connections that you make because comparison is the thief of joy. You know, the, the only yep. greatest person that you can be is the greatest version of yourself. And when you try to pursue and be someone else, you know, the universe, whatever you believe in, will, will find you out. You know, yeah. you, you can't do it. You, you've just got to be the best person that you can you can be. Be the person that you are. I get it. We all get this. Mm. Wow. All right, Simon. I know we didn't do this real quick, but I want everybody, uh, everybody listening right now, uh, and everybody watching, uh, to check out your Instagram real quick and your link trees and everything, so they can follow you and subscribe and like, comment, share, save, and follow. Let's go. This is Simon. Same. Uh, oh say, oh say, moi. I'll give that to you. I'll give it to you. Osimo, Osimo. But you know, hey, you're you're uh, you're I'll an American, and I, got I didn't it. even get my name right half the time anyway. So I always, well, as long as it starts with Oz, that's fine. I got it. I got it. Osimo. I got it, Simon. All right, cool, cool. I got it right here. It's everybody's Instagram. That's S I M O N O S A M O H S I M O N O S A M O age is simon's instagram hey, hey bro i appreciate you sharing that that's that's really um really humbling for you to share my my stuff up there so i appreciate oh, it dude look at that million dollar smile how can i not share this well that's now? true yeah my goodness we got simon podcast and mindset guys pull up right now um on your phones on your computer on your ipads i don't know what you guys have pull up make sure you guys like comment share save like comment share save and hit that follow button boom you just got three thousand new followers bro and guys once you're there hit the uh blue link right there it's his link yeah look at this look at this link look how clean this is super clean look at this guys you could binge on this all 
day. Okay. He teaches people to podcast, improve their mindset and stay safe. All right, here we go. 12 things to know before podcasting, go down, check out the links, um, listen to um, who I, and I should say, these are my favorite episodes as well of my podcast. You got Coach Dennis on there, Jeff Lopes, I mentioned Jamie Coleman, another fantastic entrepreneur, Jesse Awuji, one of two <laughs> African Americans in American NASCAR. Incredible, incredible guy there doing amazing things in NASCAR. Okay, okay, nice, dude. Do you okay? All right, and we got the YouTube channel which is my favorite. So here we go. Hit the YouTube channel link, guys. He's got videos. He's got, hit, when you're there, hit the subscribe button. Boom, we did it live right there, guys. His Instagram, uh, his YouTube's the same thing, Simon, and then his last name, O-S-A-M-O-H, Simon. That's how we do it. All right, join the community right now. Who I Became Podcast. Let's go. All right, bro. Here we go with the first question of the day. What made you start? What is, what made you start your podcast? And what is it that you like about your podcast? You know what? So what made me start my podcast was just realizing that um, I, I felt that I had a, a message to share and I just felt the platform, the platform in podcasting was a, was a great way to do it. And one thing I don't do enough about on my show is talk yeah. about my own personal journey. So I've got to do that um, a, a bit more. But that's really what made me um, start. And what, what I love about it is just the, the art of conversation. I think the modern day uh, society area, we're, we're yeah. all glued to our phones. We're, yeah. we're all, we're communicating, but we're not really there you know we're, we're sort of i'm talking to ariel but i'm looking at my phone i'm looking at instagram and i think when you're in podcasting moment you just have that someone's attention you're just listening intently to to their life and their story so you know that, that's what i love about it is the the power of connection that it, that it gives me power of connection i like that um how long have you been doing your podcast dude you know what a couple of years so i, I only release two episodes um a month so there's a lot of people that do it weekly. I've tried weekly. It was too much. So I just do uh, bi-weekly every other week and I do two episodes. So every Thursday, like 12.01 Central is when my, my episodes drop. So my goal is to do more, but I'm a big believer in don't, don't overpromise because these podcasting is hard work. Dude, not only... You know that. <laughs> Bro, not only is it you got to send the email, right? With the questions, you got to like book the shows and then like um, you got to uh, do the editing. I do video. Yeah. You you do video and I, I do video. Yeah, yeah. So we, I do the audio too. Um, so that goes up on two different platforms. Not only do I got we got to edit and then we and then we promote it, you know. And so, yeah, I love it, dude. It's a lot. But yeah. I love it. Yeah, it is a lot of work. And, you know, and I started off doing it all myself. Now I have uh, uh, an audio editor who cleans up a lot of the audio um, stuff for me just because of the time commitment that it takes. But it is, it's podcasting, it's like another job. It's, you know, you just, if you do it as a hobby, make sure you've got time because it's going to consume a lot of it. Oh, my gosh. That is so, that is great, dude. I like it. All right, next question. I love it. Um, who's your, oh, this is a great one. This is a good one, Simon. You're going to like this one. Who was your podcast influence? I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, so so you actually won't know. Say so you, you won't know this guy, um, but I'll send you a link to his show. There's a, there's a UK podcast yes. um, called Tales to Inspire by a guy who's become a friend of mine called uh, Krish Patel. And he has inspirational stories um, which inspire others. And, and it's sitting, I've been on the podcast myself. It's an incredible, incredible podcast. And I don't know what it is. If anyone's listening out there and they've heard the BBC, whenever I hear in podcast, it sounds so well put together. You know, his questions are, are clearly articulated. And I just love everything about the guy in the show. So it's called um, Tales to Inspire by Krish Patel, P-A-T-E-L. So I recommend people check out that show. If you're looking for a podcast to inspire you, 
uh that's that's a great one so yeah he's he's someone that i greatly respect in this wow. this industry sweet that is awesome and that. i could have said celebrities but the problem with celebrities is everyone does everything for them you know so it's got to be it's got to be someone real a lot of these big celebrities at podcasters they just turn up and talk on the mic and you know so it's i, I, like, I like real people for real, for real. Is there a certain celebrity that you do listen to? I know that you said they just turn it on and might, but is there a certain one that you do like to listen to sometimes? You know what? I'd say, if I'm honest, I'd say no. Most of my, most, if you look at my phone, most of the podcasts that are in there yeah. aren't by sort of people that are considered celebrities. They're real people that have podcast shows. They might have grown more notoriety, you know, yeah. by downloads and stuff, but there's no like Joe Rogan in there or like, I don't know, some Hollywood actor or someone who's starting doing a podcast. Yeah. Okay. What kind of podcast do you like to listen to? Do you like to listen to like, um, like the, the mystery murder ones? Do you like oh, yeah. Well, well, being an ex detective, true crime is always on there. You know? was, but, 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 but who did it? Who did it? And it's like, it gets a little bit boring though, because after all, I'm like, I know who did it. Stop now. Just tell us. I know who did it. But, but also, you know, a lot of, a lot of mindset in real life. I, I just love, I love okay. sort of uh, people's yeah. stories of overcoming. So most of the things I have in there, either like business or just my mindset and then, and then the crime. I get it. I get it. I, w I would, uh, man, I can't wait. To okay. So you like true crime stuff. You like the mindset stuff. You like, you like the, so do you like, um, like conspiracy theories kind of podcasts? You know what? So, um, <laughs> It's, that's a challenging question. I, I'd say, but I, I do, but I'm, I'm because of my background, I'm a great believer of where, where the chips fall is generally closest to, to what's happened. So I, I'm not too much of a conspiracy theorist because uh, quite, quite often from my experience of like 14 years as a detective, the, the evidence generally does point in a certain direction. P people don't just suddenly, yeah. I don't just pluck a name out and say, maybe Ariel's good for this crime. You know, there, there's normally evidence pointed in a certain direction. So I'm not too big of a conspiracy theorist. Um, most often it's just not black and white, but the evidence is putting you in a, in a certain direction. If that Bro. makes sense. I can't wait to jump into this question. Tell us, this has been killing me. A police officer in England, man. Tell us about that. So when did you move to the States? Yeah, so I've been here for coming up to 10 years. I'm actually just in the final uh, stages of all my citizenship oh, um, stuff. So, yeah, so, so I um, moved here 2011. And yeah, being a cop in England, very different than what it is here in America. Obviously, you know, we people always say that our cops don't have guns. People do have guns, they're just not routinely carried like they are here in America. You know, not every police officer will, will have a gun, but you know, it's very different because a lot of it is we sort of police by consent. And what I mean by that is there's a real strong sort of sense of community spirit with police officers. Um, you know, where you'll stop and you'll engage and you'll talk to people. Whereas here in America, Ooh. the law enforcement are a bit more standoffish. So it's, so it's a different style of different style of law enforcement. Um, but but it's it's definitely fun. I mean, I uh, you know, in my home office, I've got accommodations on the wall. I was commended, I think, 14 times by the chief of police. Wow. Worked on some crazy stuff, you know, in 2006, the liquid bomb terrorism plot against the US, which obviously changed. Aviation security worldwide, limited liquid on planes, you know, sort of interviewed murderers. Um, oh, so many different, so many different things. Oh, yeah. Man. But the fascinating thing, Ariel, is when someone closes their front door, you get to see what happens behind. That's what I used to love about it. Seeing what goes on behind that front door. Oh my God. <sighs> Sounds like you've seen a lot. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I was. 19 so i joined at 19 by okay. 22 23 i was a detective and i think i was 20 21 when a woman died in my arms uh, she was oh. murdered by her husband oh. um you know so you definitely have these last effects and things that, that you see and do but it's you know you quickly learn that you know you've got to walk forward in life you know like life is is adversity you are uh, there is going to be pain there is going to be suffering but it's about consistency remain in the course um i don't think anywhere even tying it back to scriptures you start us in prayer nowhere does it say life is going to be easy uh life is about staying the course you know we're, we're always falling forward as they say 
falling forward. I'm writing these notes down. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, these are all the notes I got from you so far. So right now, dude, life is adversity, but you got to stay on course and follow forward. My gosh. Dude, that is amazing right there. That is the best part right there. Man, I hope all the listeners listen to that right there. Wow. Much love, Simon. Here we go. Yeah. Um, what yeah, other, I'm ready. This is all, yeah, here we go. This is a good one. How you started your podcast two years ago. What right. have you learned so far? If you could tell yourself wow. right, you know, now two years ago when you're first starting, what would you tell yourself? What have you learned? You know, I, I think what, what I've learned is to just always be yourself. Um, no matter no matter who I'm talking to, um, no matter uh, what show I'm going on, I'm just always being yourself because what people can resonate with is being authentic. So if I used to stumble, I would try and cut the words out. Now it's just like you let know, it, I, I just talk and, and let it go because yeah. that's 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 real yeah. life. And again, that that comes into that self reflection as well as to yeah. you know being being comfortable in, in in who you are. Yeah. Um. You know, we are who you are. Just just be comfortable in your own skin. And but there's no perfect person out there. So I think no. I've learned to it's helped me sort of um, cement my view of you just got to be just got to be you, um, because that is the only greatest person that you can be, as I always say. Yep. Just be you, be yourself. Um, I like that. I, I totally agree. Um, you know what I like too? Are those, those are those, what kind of plants are those in your office? You know, what, these ones, I don't know what those are. These, this is, I'd like to say this is real, but it's not. Oh, uh, yeah. God, it's, they look uh, amazing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah they look uh, amazing. They should be real, but I forget to water them down here. Dude, I need to get some real plants in my crib. You're actually, uh, even though they're fake, you're inspiring me to get some plants. Yeah, in my yeah, do it, yeah. But, uh, it, oh, sets the color well. Yeah, it does. It looks, it looks nice. But you got all your lights and stuff going on there. That's pretty cool. You know, you got, you got, you got a setup. Yeah, we got a setup, dude. We've got a setup. Yeah. Um, here we go. Next question. I like that. Um, man, be yourself. And you said something else there. Be yourself and. Um, yourself well, the only greatest person that you can be oh. is the greatest version of yourself yeah you know what for me sometimes i'll get some like big name people here and i'll be like man be myself i can be myself i can do this yeah. I t- at the beginning yeah. like the first two minutes i'm a little nervous but after like i get i'm just like it it, it, it comes out well, like, I, and i could tell you this this friday if it happens i'm in, interviewing someone who is huge and very topical this person is like I, w- I would say internationally known yeah but i'm not even nervous about it because i'm just going to be me you yep. know i'll greet them like i do any other guest yep. i'll ask some questions like it would do any other guests and and it's just it's just a conversation yeah yeah i don't i don't get nervous um I, i'm the same no matter who i talk to yeah for sure for sure yeah dude i'll be like and before i start my podcast with someone i'll be like i'm excited i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited but yeah, dude, I got that. Um, I know what else you said. Um, be authentic, be yourself. But what you really meant by that is like, if you mess up or you stumble on your words or if like, you know, whatever, don't fix it. Just let it be, let it be raw, yeah. be real, because that's what people like, dude. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They want to see it. They want to see it's authentic. Because, and you know what? Sometimes that's why you mentioned about the celebrity podcast. And I said, I can't really listen. I can't really name any because they're, they're too perfect, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're, they're in a studio there's no arms and ours, ours and it's just like well put together it's like i could just be watching a tv show right now you know it's not just two people having a conversation or you know reflecting on something it's, it's two stage so pe- people yeah. want to see i mean who hasn't made a mistake you know so it's too fixed it's too stage it's too fake let's move you know nobody wants to see that anymore move on Love it, dude. All right, here we go. Uh, Okay, I like this. I like this. You said you're up there in Minneapolis, Minnesota. What's your favorite kind of hobbies you like to do over there? Yeah, so so one of my favorite hobbies is a bit short in Minnesota because we're under snow from like October, November to about May. Um, but you might put you might not put this together, but I'm actually an avid uh, cyclist, uh, road cyclist. Okay. Um, so yeah, I like to 
uh, get out on my road bike and do like sort of 30, 40, 50 miles and stuff. So that's, uh, that's one of my, that's, that's my big release is uh, um, being, being out of my road bike. And actually some of my best ideas, I actually have to have my phone on a harness in front of me because I'll forever get an idea and I'm there opening a, a, a voice note and trying to put something in as I'm head down on my bike and stuff, you know. And then uh, in, in the winter, my eldest son uh, started to have an interest in cross-country skiing. So I started to do a little bit of that as well. So a bit of cross-country skiing. Amateur, still still learning, but it's a lot of fun and, and a good, fun. good workout. Yeah. Yep. And I should say the final one is embrace American culture is going um, shooting as well, you know, so you gotta, you gotta own a gun in America. So I, 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 I follow, followed the trend, got a gun and I go to the gun range and, and have fun there. Yo, they say that's a good release is to go to the gun range and uh, shoot some guns, dude. I've never done it. I don't even own a gun, but I do want to try it. I don't think I've never even shot a gun before, bro. I've shot a paper. paper. Oh, wow. But I've never shot it. I'm uh, I've never shot a gun in my life. Well, you need so um. Here's a weird thing, man. It. It's actually quite soothing to to shoot a gun. I heard uh, that's that's the weird thing, man. Yeah, yeah. It's quite you know. It's just but hey, give it a go. Yep, that's what I heard. Um, what I like is um the cross country skiing. My girlfriend likes to do the skiing. I like to do the cross country snowboarding. We do that a lot. We like that. Um, and the cycling, bro, that's dope too, man. That's a lot of yeah, that's miles. Cool. That's a lot of miles to do. Yeah, but you know what? When you get on those road bikes, it's so easy. Ooh. You can just like head down and you can do like, you know, three, well, I don't know, it's about four miles, um, you know, maybe like a mile in four minutes, something like that or oh, less. It's, yeah. you know, it's, I'm still not as quick as someone's run. Someone's still run a mile quicker than what I've cycled a mile, but it, <laughs> it's good fun. I had like to get down there and do it. Yeah, good, good release, good release. Oh, good for you. Good release, good for your body, man. Good for the mind. Jeez, good for you. Keep it up. I like it. Be safe. Oh, do you wear? Do you wear the the bike gear like the tights? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta get the. I have the full bib, and my 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 wife and sons call me like the German sort of, um, you know, sort of the, the Austrian type stuff. You have the like the tight lycra on and stuff. You know, yes. Hey, but there's things that hurt on those bikes when you when you're down there. So like sometimes it's like sitting on a razor blade. So you know you gotta go down some good chamois leather and stuff. I have to get you on over there. Well, in Colorado where you are, you got some good um good hills and stuff you can go up for sure. Dude, there's dude, Colorado, Denver, where I am. It's just people are on bikes all the dude. There's people riding bikes at 13k elevation, bro. Wow, no, it's crazy. Yeah, you, you see those those Tour de France guys, and they're like going up hills like this. It's like, yeah, how are right you even doing that, bro, bro, bro? The, there, there's mountains here. We we were at five thousand, right? We're at five thousand, and we're gonna we're going to the mountains, right? We're going to the mountains to go hiking, snowboarding, right? When we're going, uh, but not in the summer though. Uh, there's people that are riding their bikes, going going twelve k, thirteen k elevation, just riding their bikes. Yeah. And yeah. And I'm just like, and I'm in a car, man. And I'm going like 10 miles an hour on the, on the edge of the mountain. And now yeah. there's a biker riding on the edge of the mountain. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Anyways, yeah. so I'm, there, I'm going 10 miles an hour. My hands are sweating. I'm at 13 K elevation. I'm like, uh, just get me down, man. I just need to get back down the mountain. Well, you know, I got this new bike this past summer and um, it took a lot of time off my normal route that I normally do. But I looked at my my track and I was like, is that right? And I think I've done like 54 miles an hour going downhill. And it's like, I sort of said to my wife, I said, I, I think I need to tell you there's a do not resuscitate. I said, if I come off at that speed, you know, it's not going to end well. So I said, you know, make, make sure that, you know, um, remember, do not resuscitate so it can be scary on those bikes it really can be you just scared me man yeah yeah it's pretty pretty well it, the, the scary part isn't doing that speed the scary part is if you come off you know so it's um that's the scary part it's like people that say they're scared of flying they're not scared of flying they're scared of the plane crashing you know so yo when i get a plane i'm always like it's 50 50 we're gonna land or we're not <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no we're safe you can't you can't think about it. you need to have that mind mindset we're safe we're safe no, yeah, that was back then. When I was back then, when I first flew, I was like, man, this is 50-50. I'm like, we're going to – but now I'm like, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. It's smooth. Let's just go. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Dope, man. All right, we got one more. Two more. Yeah. 
We got two more questions here. I want to say thank you so much, Simon, for being on the show. You dropped some knowledge. I got some amazing notes, man. I'm going to be smart. And um, so here we go. Ooh, here we go. Next question. We're going to answer one more question. And I'm going to show everybody where they can follow you one more time. So here we go. Um, okay, yeah, this is a nice one. Here's a nice one. What advice do you have for anybody going through a tough time. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. He's he's coming back. He's coming back. One way out of debt. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. We'll take this moment for a quick commercial update. So here we go. Boom. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Make sure you guys go to the website arielent.com and when you go there you guys will find specifically what you need and what i'm saying is that i got the merch there i got my music there and i got my podcast there so let's go take a look of what the best way to support me guys here we go boom music shop photography podcasts arielent.com ladies and gentlemen best friends listeners all around the world and here we go he is back thank you for everybody for that commercial break i appreciate everybody's patience let's get back straight to it simon how at your boy hey glad to be back glad to be back yo you know you said you got two more questions for me Yes, sir. You know what it is because we just did a quick commercial break. So here we come back. Next question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any advice for anybody going through a tough time? Yes. Yeah, so here's what I've um, found in, in my life about going through adversity is that, and this might seem a bit harsh, Harold, but we often think that we're going through adversity alone, but I'm the only one. You know, if I take my life, I grew up without a father. I'm the only person that's going through this. No one understands. But generally where we are in today's society, there's not many things that can happen to you that haven't happened to someone else before. So I think the greatest advice that I give in going through adversity is that there is someone that's walked in there sh in your shoes before. So, so seek them out. You know, how, how did they overcome? If you're battling with addiction, Find someone that's overcome your addiction. How did they do it? Interact with them. You know, if someone's, you know, if you're in a lot of debt and you can't see a way out, you know, talk to someone. The internet is, a, is an amazing place. Find someone who's overcome the, the hurdle that you've, you're facing and, and seek, seek their advice. Uh, you know, that's one of the biggest um, things yes. that, that I found is that we we feel we're the only ones going through this, but there's not much we haven't gone through before. Doesn't make our pain any easier. Doesn't make it easier. But someone's been through it before, and we can we can seek their counsel. We don't seek counsel enough mm. from from other people. We gotta I see. And someone said to me uh, recently, actually, and I wrote this down to make sure I remembered it. They said that we're inundated with information but we're starved of wisdom, right? We're inundated with yeah. information, but starved of wisdom. Yeah. So yeah. if you're going through a tough time, see, seek out that, seek out that wisdom. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's it. I got here. Um, you know, if just realize you're not the only one and see, try, try your hardest to try to seek out for, you know, someone that might've gone through the same thing or has gone through the same thing or is going through the same thing, you know? And then, um, and oh my gosh this is what happens when i can't read my writing um but yeah dude i i, I totally agree Yeah, because i tell you you know if i say about my own life for a while you know i grew up in a lot of poverty i grew up um not even with an absent father i've never met my father so i'm the color of skin um because of someone i've never even even met and it'd be very easy to to paint myself out as being the victim you know like life was tough i didn't have anything you know i didn't have a male relationship i didn't have any money i i couldn't go on any school trips you know i had to live on lived in social housing you know we never had a new car it'd be very easy to say that i'm a victim 
of my circumstance. But if I did that, I wouldn't be where I am today because life is about that perver- um, perseverance and, and continually, con- continually moving forward. That's what you've got to do to find success. You know, if you don't have a degree, work hard, get a degree. You know, if you, if you want a better job, you've got to work hard. You know, most of us in today's world are going to live till we're like 80, 90 years old. You know, if you're like 40 years old, the pain, adversity, the crisis that you're in now, more than likely won't be there in one or two years time. You just got to try and do what you can to get out of that, because most often a crisis is a moment in time. You know, it's not it's not where you live your life. A crisis is a moment in time. We just got to get through that time of our life to then then see the bigger picture i got it there's there's a lot of notes in there for you to write down ariel i got it right there life is about perseverance and crisis is only a moment in time you got to look at the bigger picture oh my gosh dude so you're you're good on your shorthand notes i tell you i can remember all that and i said it man I just, t- the, all these amazing words that come out, I just pick the most amazing words you said and I just write it down, dude. My gosh. Simon, I want to say thank you so much for being on the show. You killed it. I can't believe it. You dropped so much knowledge, bro. I'm going to I'm gonna put this out. I'm going to talk to my producer and be like, yo, we got to get this out ASAP, okay? So I want to say thank you so much, Simon. I'm going to bring up your credentials one more time so everybody can follow you and uh, hit you up and DM you, comment you, and follow you and all the above, guys. You already know. Go support my boy. Yo, Simon, say your name, please. Hey, Look at that face. Look at that smiling face. Look, Simon Osimo. All my handles are just at Simon Osimo. So very easy to, to find me. Simon, S I M O N Osimo, O S A M O H. I'd love for you to not only follow me, but take a listen to one of my, my podcasts and, and let me know what you think. I love the engagement. I love it when people come back and let me know what they liked about a show or what they you know found interesting about one of my guests. Simon Osimo in the building, baby. Woo! He came in, dropped some knowledge. Like I said, hit that link tree. Make sure you like, comment, share, follow, like, comment, share, follow, like, comment, share, save, and follow. And we hit that link tree. Boom. You got so many things you can hit him up on, all right? He's got the Facebook. He's got the Twitter. Um, he's got the YouTube. He's got the podcast. He's got so many tips, guys. What are you sitting on that chair for? And then you got that YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe, all right? Hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out the videos and comment. He loves the engagement. Homeboy loves the engagement. Um, his um, uh, his uh, YouTube is the same as his name, guys. Simon Osama, right? You got it, brother. You got it. Hey, and it's been a lot of fun talking to you. I've loved the questions that you've asked me. It's been good to get to get to know you. And I want to see your show grow as well. So it's it's inspiring that you uh, take so much time um, to pour into your guests and, and to your listeners as well. So I want to make sure that people listening, hey, don't just listen, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do what he's telling you to do because he's, he's uh, asking some good questions and he's getting some good life wisdom. So the best way to learn in life is through someone who's been there, be, been there before for sure. That's why God connected us. That's why he told me, yo, hit up this guy. He's going to show you so many things. You're going to write down some notes and you're going to learn. I'm like, exactly. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm here on this earth to uplift and elevate others. Oh my gosh, dude. I love it. I love it. Simon, thank you so much. Much love. I'm going to tell the DJ, get that track ready. Um, If you ever need anything, you already know you can hit me up and I'll promote it, bro. So thank you so much, Simon. Yeah, take care. So grateful. All right, guys, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Um, that's the website. You already know. The links are down below, the donations. So thank you so much. It truly, truly means the world to me. Um, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I love doing this, guys. So thank you so much for the donations. This is what paid this new light that we got over us so you can see more of my features. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Love yourself. Love the animals. Happy 2022. This is your year. Um, I wish all your dreams and wishes come true to all the millions and millions, millions of listeners listening. So thank you. God bless. Here we go. DJ, you already know what you got to do. Simon, much love. God bless. And have fun with, with just a 
just have fun, man. I, I'm just so joyful about this podcast, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Here we go. DJ, you're not dropping that track. What's going on? Here we go. Good song, good tune. Catch as fuck, bro. Here we go. And let's kick things off with a little prayer with a cat and stunner shades and a golden hair. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielEnt.com. All right. Um, I got to give a shout outs for last week's donations. I got last week's donations, guys. I got your names right here. So thank you so much. First one we got, we got Tyson Basso. Tyson Basso, thank you so much for that 50 donation. Appreciate, appreciate it. Um, Marvelous. Mama Marvelous, thank you so much for that donation. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, oh my goodness, Brian Lloyd, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that donation. And we got Andy Solomon. Andy Solomon, thank you so much for the donation. God bless everybody. Everybody listening, much love. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Uh, that's where you'll find I'm available on all podcast platforms. We're talking about Apple, Spotify, iHeart, uh, Google, YouTube, all the above, guys. Um, much love. I'm so happy. God bless. Woo! Nice.